Blue Lock definitely has to be one of the most innovative anime of this season. Blue Lock has really revolutionized sports as an anime. Blue Lock is doing something we've never seen before and I've talked about this countless of times but I wanted to make a video just dedicated to the innovation that Blue Lock has brought to the sports and anime manga medium. Now I think all of us have seen a sports anime right? I've watched Haikyuu, I've seen Kuroko no Basketball. Most of the times I would say like 9 out of 10 times when it comes to sports anime they tend to focus on you know teamwork and friendship. And while all these anime are great and they have their moments, I'm gonna be honest with you, sports anime has kind of gotten repetitive until Blue Lock stepped in on the scene. Blue Lock came in and said, no, 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 we're not gonna be focusing on friendship and teamwork, we're gonna be focusing on egotism. And this was a big risk for the author of Blue Lock to take because it is out of the norm. He wasn't sure how people would react to this, would people enjoy it, would people not like it? And now that he's done it and he's seen the success that Blue Lock is bringing, because literally everyone right now I feel like is watching Blue Lock. A lot of people that aren't even sports fans, that don't even watch sports in real life, that don't even watch sports anime are watching Blue Lock. That's how big this has gotten. And I feel like because he's brought this innovation to the sports medium, I feel like a lot of other mangaka are going to try to replicate his success and do something similar and try to focus on a different aspect of sports, you know, not only focus on teamwork and friendship, but try to focus on something else. He focused on egotism and other mangaka might try to do something similar, maybe focus on, you know, injuries in sports or something else. Maybe focus on the more technical side. But because Blue Lock has brought this innovation, and it honestly works, like you would think egotism in sports wouldn't work. However, the way the author is writing this, so far it's been working and clearly you could see the numbers of Blue Lock. It's doing numbers. The characters are all great. Isagi's a great main character. We have Bachiro who's a great side character. For the last couple of episodes, we've been focusing on Shigiri. So every episode, we, we have all these characters and each of these characters has their own thing, their own trait. And I love how Nomura has been able to make all these different characters and not just have them be, you know, kind roughly the same because one problem i notice with sports anime is i sometimes tend to forget who's who okay that's one thing i noticed like i'll watch kuroko no basketball and then i'll be like okay this guy reminds me of this guy like all the side characters sometimes they just blend in together but it seems like everybody on in blue lock has their own personality and play style even the play style is different between each player like for example Chigiri is a speedster, whereas Bachira is a dribbler. So these two characters have different playstyles, different personalities, and I love that about Blue Lock. I, that's something I truly love. But I think one of the biggest selling factors for Blue Lock that not a lot of people talk about is the character design, okay? Not only is it very innovative, not only are the characters great, but the character designs look fire. Like, you can't tell me Bachira doesn't look like a cool character, or Isa even Isagi, the main character, while he looks bland, you know, he looks pretty cool, and I think his blandness just makes everyone else stand out even more. Like, you see Bachira, you see Chigiri, you see, uh, who else can I think of? Baro. All of these characters have such great character designs, and I feel like because Isagi is more of a bland character, he's not really bland, but like, compared to everyone else, he kinda is. Everyone else just stands out. Even Sei, right? Like, all these characters, they have different colored hairstyles. No two characters look the same. Like, they all look genuinely different. And I really... And for me, character design has always been crucial. Like, sometimes it will genuinely make or break a series if the character design is off. Like, if the character design doesn't look appealing to me, sometimes I will literally not want to check out a series. It does matter. But I think Blue Lock has been really innovative. I'm really enjoying it. Um, but listen, if you want more anime content, manga content, make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.